it's your girl claire and i remind your girl claire and i am back here today with another word for someone out there it could be someone who is watching me right now it's possible you might watch this video later but i am here today with a word for someone but before i go into um what i have for you today i just want to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to every one of you who um said a word of prayer um for sabrina williams the lady i uploaded her video some days ago um thank you so much for your prayers and that shows how selfless you are and that shows how passionate you are for others because our god is also a selfless god and that was why he did not withhold his son jesus you know from dying for us he gave his son jesus christ to die for us on the cross because of how um compassionate he is and because he doesn't want any of us to be doomed forever so um if you have never been through trying times or through the wilderness experience you will not understand what it is like when other people go through it if you have been there then you will feel for others you'll have a passion for others to feel what others feel you know when they go through their trying moments so thank you so much to god be the glory for another day to be able to come out here today to reach out to someone with a word of encouragement so i am here today to say to someone you're watching me right now stop sharing your dreams stop talking to the wrong people stop sharing your plans with the wrong association with the wrong people stop talking to the wrong person because the whole lot of you out there you are in a difficult situation right now because you've been talking to the wrong people and there are people out there who because they've been sharing um their dreams their plans their visions with the wrong people you know ended up in a difficult situation so um but i am here to encourage you not to worry maybe you have shared your dreams with the wrong people and your plans your visions your god-given dream god-given vision and god-given plans with the wrong people just like joseph did because he did that thinking he was doing the right thing sometimes you know we, we share our dreams we share our plans we share whatever it is you know that god has laid in our hearts to do with the wrong people out of excitement and out of ignorance you know not just because we want to prove a point but because we just feel like talking to someone about it we are excited about what god is doing in our lives it could be in us in the area of our, our, our spiritual life it could be in the area of um, your finances it could be in the area of you know whatever area you've been sharing you've been talking to people about things that god has placed in your hands also to do um i just want to tell you today to stop talking stop talking if only you listen to me today stop sharing with the wrong people um we all know the story of joseph <laughs> how he ended up you know in a as ended up being sold up i ended up in a pit and how he ended up um, in Potiphar's house and ended up in prison just because of his god-given dream what does that tell you your god-given dream can put you in a place of confinement it can put you in in, in a place that is not um desirable it can put you in a place where you never thought you would be that is not convenient that's not conducive like the prison like joseph it could you know put you in a place of difficulty just like joseph but the truth is that if that dream came from god it will only tarry but it must surely come to pass you know if, if you read the book of genesis 37 you know um if you go down to verse 5 how it all started we all know the story of joseph it all ha it happens in our lives today the bible makes us to understand that, that his father did what he was loved by his father you know more than his own siblings more than his own brothers those brothers today could be your working colleague can be church members can be that friend or those friends around you could be your business partner could be even your spouse could be anybody can be joseph's brothers in your life so he was sharing with the wrong people and that sort of delayed the dream but not to worry delay is never denial because it delayed because they sold him off 
he, you know, they, they put him in a pit, they sold him off. He had to go through all those wilderness experience. But God had a purpose for everything because at the end of the day, that dream still came to a fulfillment because God allowed it to happen because Joseph had to pass through that wilderness experience to get to that place of purpose. He had to go through all those trying times for him to get to Egypt where he was going to fulfill the need of the people that God, you know, um, ordained him, you know, to um, reach out to with his dream. Because the dream was given to him, not for himself, but for the people. So your God's given dream is not meant for you, it's not for you, it's for some people. It actually is for other people. So if you look at the whole thing, they put him in a pit. They, want, they wanted to kill him. First of all, they wanted to kill him until one of them, Reuben, intervened and said, no, let us not kill him. The plan, the plot was let us kill him and we kill the dream. Let us put him in a pit and then we bury the dream. But if the dream is from God, it can never be buried. So it's possible you've been talking to the wrong people and they are trying to choke that dream. But as long as that dream is of God, it will not die. Don't be discouraged, but stop talking. Maybe you have not started talking to people. God has given you a dream and you have not started sharing yours. Listen to my message today and never you share your God-given dreams. Don't share your God-given vision. Don't share your plans. Whatever it is that you are doing that you know it's going to, you know, be for your betterment or for the betterment of, of others. Stop sharing it. Because it happens just like Joseph. The father loved him more than the other brothers. And he made him what? A coat of many colors. And they were envious of him. It happens in our lives today even in our relationship with God. It's possible, you know, you are being blessed by God because of your commitment or just because, you know, it's, the, it's all about the love of God. The Bible says he will choose who he will he bless. It. God chooses who he blesses. So sometimes because you, you are being blessed by God, things are happening in your life that even you, you never imagined would happen in your life. And someone is out there being bitter about it. Someone is out there being envious about it. Someone is out there being jealous about it. Don't worry. As long as it is from God, you have nothing to worry about. So we all, if, if you read um, from verse 5, he says, his father made him a coat of many colors. And what happened? His brothers hated him. So, and then it goes down to say, then he had a dream and told that dream to his brothers. If you read um, from verse 5 down, it says he had a dream. And in that dream, I don't, I don't want to because of time. I'm trying to rush you right now. He had a dream. If you, if you go on and read from verse 5, it says he had a dream and told it to his brothers. And he said, we were in the field and we were gathering um, um, wheat and all of a sudden your own bundles surrounded mine and mine stood upright and your uh, bundles bowed to mine so they got the message and from that moment the bible says they hated him even more so it's possible you share the first dream god gave you with someone and somehow you notice that person started acting funny but you went ahead again you had another god gave you another dream or another vision and you shared it again i am here to want you to stop sharing your dreams stop sharing your god-given vision stop sharing your plans with the wrong people because they will either build you up or build it help you build it or they will um choke it up it's either they will help you bring it see it come to a fulfillment or the envy and the jealousy will choke it up so his brothers were envious of him because he said that and then the bible says if you go down to verse 9 he says and then he had another dream and he shared it again with them that was the mistake he made he had another dream and he shared it with them but he was just an innocent person you know he was just sharing you know, it happens to us it happened to me a long long time ago i was there where god was using me you know spiritually and things were happening in my life and i was so excited about those things not just because i wanted to prove a point to anybody because god knows our hearts sometimes you do something you know without even you know thinking of proving any points but 
it's possible that the people you're talking to or the people around you they see it the wrong way and they are like oh okay she wants to prove a point and they become jealous of that gift of god in your life or they become jealous of what god is doing in your life so be very careful of who you're sharing your dreams with so joseph brothers can even be church members like i said could be anybody so but just be very careful stop sharing your dreams that is what i came out here today to say to us so we see them put him in a pit from that pit what happened he ended up in potiphar's house so it's possible that your god-given dream might end up putting you in a pit might end up you know putting you, uh, uh, bringing you into Potiphar's house, a place where you'll be betrayed or lied against, a place where you'll be accused falsely, might end up even taking you to a place of confinement, which is the prison, a place where, you know, you, you do not have your freedom. When I talk about your freedom, we know what the prison is like. And it's not a place that is suitable. It's not a place that is conducive. It's not a place where you can fulfill purpose. No, the prison house is not a place you can fulfill purpose. But Joseph was there. But because that dream was given to him by God, because that gift was given to him by God to interpret dreams, he was able to interpret the dreams of two people that he met in the prison. And from there, he was able, you know, God took him into his purpose, which was the palace. So oftentimes in our lives, we talk to the wrong people and things that would have happened in our lives just within, you know, a period of time it might end up being extended it, it tarries because we spoke to the wrong people but the truth is that if it is god that gave that vision if it is god that gave that purpose then it must surely come to pass if it is god who gave you that vision if it is god who put it in you it cannot die because when his brothers were plotting they thought okay if we put him in a pit or if you know if we sell him off then that, that's the end of the dream. But they forgot that God placed that dream on the inside of Joseph. So as long as that dream was from God, it wasn't about where he was because their mind was, oh, let us sell him off. If we sell him off, then that's the end of the, of the dream. I am talking to you today. You are watching me right now. Your dream is not about where you are right now. Your dream is all about the, your future. Your dream, your God-given dream, is all about you know for a specific time it's for a specific purpose it's for an appointed time yes for an appointed time so when the time comes it must surely come to pass it doesn't matter what would have come your way to try to choke it up it might be a pit experience it might be a potiphar's house experience it might be a prison experience but it happened for a purpose as long as god put it there you will get to your palace you will get to your place of glorification you must get to that place where god has proposed for your life so that was the plan let's kill him let's sell him off and we are done with it, with all that so but they never knew that god had a plan and the plan was not just about where he was located like i said your dream is not about where you're located it's not about your presence it's all about your future where god is taking you because he had to pass through the wilderness experience he had to pass through all those as, um, trying times he went through to get to Egypt and Egypt was, was actually the place where God wanted to position him for the purpose of meeting the need of God's people in the time of drought, in the time of lack, in the time of famine. That was the plan of God. So that those people will not die of starvation. But his brothers never understood it that way. That jealous colleague, that jealous friend, that envious person who you've been talking to, that fellow you've been pouring out your heart to, talking about things happening, even your private life, talking about things that you should, you know, buckle up and talk to only God about. You've been talking to that person about and not knowing that he or she is plotting in, in his or her heart. I tell you something, the heart of man is wicked and the heart of man can be, the heart can be very deceitful. 
nobody knows the heart except god sometimes we talk to people about good things that are happening in our lives and they might just in front of us go like oh i'm happy for you but behind you they are mad at you behind you they are not happy about what is going on in your life behind you they are not just happy for you stop talking to the wrong person stop sharing with the wrong person oftentimes god blesses you with a car god blesses you with a with a house god blesses you with a child god blesses you with a husband but God blesses you with a good job. God blesses you with the good things of life. And someone out there is just mad at that. Why? Because they feel, oh, I, why should it be only you? It happened to Joseph. His brothers were like, is it not the same lad we saw we were here when he was giving birth to? Remember, he had older brothers. His mother, Rachel, was a second wife who the sister was also married to Jacob. Jacob had two wives, Leah and Rachel. And Joseph had just a younger brother, as in he, he had to, um, his mother gave birth to just two of them, himself and Benjamin, his younger brother, while he had older brothers from uh, uh, the stepmother, as in their, his mother's sister. So he had older brothers who were there before him. And now here comes Joseph being loved above them all, loved more than every one of them. So that brought about jealousy and envy and they started plotting against him. It became worse when he started sharing his dreams. Sometimes it takes something big that God is about to do in our lives for us, our eyes to be open, to know who our adversaries are. So sometimes it takes you going through a wilderness experience for you to know who your adversaries are. Uh, adversaries are. All the while he was talking to them about his dreams, he never thought for one second that they were going to plan to try to kill him or even put him in a pit or even, you know, um, sell him off. He always thought that God is back. Sometimes in our lives it's like that. We talk to the wrong people thinking, oh, this person has got my back. We share things, experiences and all that out of excitement with the wrong people thinking, oh, they've got our backs. But the people you are sharing with, do they have the same mindset as, as you? Because when you share your dreams, your visions, your plans with the wrong people who do not have the same mindset, mindset with you, then it ends up in disaster. But thank God to the glory of God, they meant it for evil for Joseph, but God meant it for good. God ended up taking him to a place of glory, the place where God uh, uh, proposed for him because it was for the glorification of not just Joseph but for God because God was going to use that to preserve the lives of many people so I am here today to encourage us let's see what the book of Habakkuk says give me I need to the book of Habakkuk it talks about the vision we all know in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 I want to quickly read it it says something it says Thank you. Habakkuk um, 2, verse 3. He says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. He says it is for a specific time. That vision from God, that plan, that dream you have that is from God. Whatever it is that God has placed in your heart to do. He says it is for an appointed time. It is for a specific time. It is for the future. He says, and it hastens to the end. In other words, it will come to pass with fulfillment. He says it will not deceive or disappoint. In other words, you will not be disappointed. Believe me that it will not dis disappoint you. God will never deceive you and God will never disappoint you. If he gave you that dream, then hold on to it. He says, though it tarries, he says, wait earnestly for it. So I don't know what God has, the, the dream God has given to you. And maybe because you've been sharing with the wrong people, you know, it has tarried. Or maybe even you've not shared it with the wrong people, it has tarried. God is teaching us to wait. God is teaching you patience. Just wait for it. He says, because it will surely do what comes to pass. He says, it will not be behind hand on its appointed day. In other words, on the day that God has set aside for it to come to pass, it will just reveal itself. It will just spring forth and everyone will see the hand of God upon your life. So keep being patient, keep waiting, keep trusting God. He is working out for you. Finally, I want to leave you with this. 
experience is not just what happened to you. It is what you do with what happened to you. Joseph was able to learn the power of forgiveness, to forgive those who dug a pit for him, to forgive those who plotted evil against him. Likewise, his brothers learned to repent from their evil ways, from their wicked ways. So whatever happened, happened for good and not for the bad of Joseph. So keep holding on to your God-given dream and please remember to stop sharing it with the wrong people. God bless you. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Remember that whatever happens in your life as a child of God is not working against you. It is working for your good. Bye-bye. And I love you. And thank you so much. You know, I have my pin. It's there to the glory of God. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.